Now, whether I'm working inside my shop or I'm outside in the elements, right in the rain, all weather notebooks, keep my notes in good shape. Right in the rain notebooks, repel rain, sweat, and grime. Hi everybody, I'm Lee of CJ Drill and I just want to say welcome. Now here's the thing, today's video has to do with cutting a joint and it's a very basic fundamental joint called a rabbit. And the truth is, if you're a beginner woodworker, you gotta know this joint because it gives you foundational skills to cut more complex joints like a dovetail joint, for example. Now it's this groove right here that's cutting the end of a piece of wood that's called a rabbit. If you live in the UK, they call it a rebate. So this is our rabbit right there, and this is the marrying piece. We're gonna set that in there just like that. And as you can see, it's set up perfectly across. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to use a table saw. It's really basic, just two passes, and guess what? You can cut rabbits all day long. Now, I have to tell you this, and that is there are other ways to cut rabbits. You can use a router, you can do them by hand, there are other methods. But we're using a table saw, and you're going to say, oh my goodness, Leah, that really is easy. So here's the stock that we're going to cut, and it's extra thick and extra beefy because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. What I need to do is I need to cut a groove in this piece of stock here, and I want it to be 11 sixteenths in thickness. So we're gonna cut that groove in the end of our wood 11 sixteenths of an inch, because that's the thickness of this board here. And what we have to do is we have to use a tool to set up our blade to make certain that it's cutting at the proper thickness, right? This is a combination square. And you can easily use this tool to do it, and it's readily available. I don't personally like using a combination square for setup tool, but you can use it, okay? It's already set up to show 11 sixteenths of an inch. That's how thick that is. Now what I like to use are setup bars. That's what this is here and as you can see it's 11 16 and what I like about it is it I don't have to worry about reading numbers all I have to do is feel and I know that that's right on now if you don't have setup bars or you don't have a combination square don't worry about it because you can use the wood itself to set the height of the blade. It won't be as accurate, it won't be like right on the money, but it will get you doggone close. We're here at the table saw, and this is our blade, and we have to adjust this. We have to lower it down, all right? Make certain that you unplug your table saw before you make any adjustments. So remember I said you didn't need setup bars, you don't need, um, combination square, you can just use the stock itself to set the height of the blade. You just take your wood, lay it up against that blade like that, and then you start to lower it. All right? Until, of course, till the tip of your blade here is perfectly level with the wood. Now I'm going to take this out of the way because you get the gist of how that works. Now I've got my combination square set at 11 16 That's what this distance is. Now we're gonna come over to our blade and we're gonna set the height of the blade. The way we do that is we set that blade up like that and we wanna raise our blade till it hits the bottom of the square. So we're right on the money, right there. Now next we have to determine where we want to put this fence because we've already set the height here. Now we have to set the width of the cut. And the way we do that is we take our combination square, if we're using a combination square, and we're resting it right on the outside there, just like that, on the outside of that blade. Now keep in mind, like I said, when you're making adjustments to the blade, you should have the table saw unplugged. Now I'm going to slide my fence in, all right? I'm going to keep that combination square nice and tight against the blade. I'm going to bring my fence in. I'm going to lock it in place. Now what I like to use is I like to use these setup bars. Remember this is 11 16 of an inch. I'll slide that right next to the blade. Not only can I see, but I get to feel. Okay, I don't have to read any numbers and I can feel that this is a little proud here. So I have to lower the blade just a slight amount until that's nice and even, and it is. Now I'm going to lock that blade in place. I 
think the natural thing to do is to take your setup bar and lay it between the blade and the fence, this being our fence, and bringing that fence in tight. What I want to tell you is if you set up your setup bar just like this, your cut's going to be wrong. And it's going to be thicker than you would like because you're not taking in consideration the thickness of this blade here. You've got to remember, this blade is removing wood. So what you want to do is this. We're going to back the fence off a little bit. We're going to slide out our setup bar. And we're going to put our setup bar in front of our blade. And we're going to tap our fence, okay? And we're going to line up just like this, okay? I can feel where my setup bar and my blade are aligned perfectly. Now we're going to make our first cut. So we've made our first cut. Now we're going to make our second cut across. I'll pick, I'll slide it up and pick it up. Ready? Uh -huh. So that's it. That's our rabbit cut right there. It looks nice and square. Now we're going to take our mirroring piece here. We're going to set it just like that. And look at that. Is that a beautiful thing or what? Right on the money. So that's it. It's a pretty simple joint. It's just two passes on a table saw and you're finished with a rabbit. Once you get it down, it really kind of opens the door to do variations of that joint because there's variations of a rabbit. Now before I go, I just want to say this. Right in the Rain is our sponsor again this month. And I gotta tell you, I've been using Right in the Rain notebooks for about a year and a half, and I don't know what I did before them. Now, if you're somebody that works out in the elements, I want you to check them out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you can go right to their website and see for yourself. This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.